this dream any chance of it succeeding or getting further than this last dream of, of a Super League? But to be honest with you, I would say uh, the chances of it happening are between somewhere between slim and none. Uh, to have a European Super League that anyone is ever going to watch, you're going to need to have English clubs in it. So you're going to need to have Arsenal, Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool, uh, you know, Chelsea, the clubs who tried to set up a European Super League 18 months ago. Now, these Premier League clubs cannot join a breakaway league. If you go and look at the new Premier League handbook, the first page of that handbook has got the new Premier League owners charter. So this is something that all the owners of Premier League clubs have had to sign. And in that charter, point nine says, we are collectively committed to the Premier League and recognise our responsibility to support it. We will not engage in the creation of new competition formats outside the Premier League's rules. So all the Premier League club owners have signed that commitment. They will not be joining a breakaway Super League. The government white paper that is just going to come out, which is going to recommend the setting up of an independent regulator for football, the government in that will make it absolutely clear that clubs cannot join a breakaway Super League either. And the last time they tried it, let's not forget, these clubs all thought it was a fantastic idea. Let's name the clubs. Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United and Spurs. It fell apart in a matter of days and they were also fined. So in my opinion, for what it's worth, this is never going to happen because the Premier League clubs cannot join it. It's as simple as that. And what, what A22 sports management are basically saying is that UEFA uh, is anti-competitive. It's a cartel. Why shouldn't other people be allowed to set up leagues? But effectively, what they want to do is replace one cartel with another cartel. Mm -hmm. So instead of UEFA running the game, in Europe, they want it to be run by Real Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus. OK, I mean, we saw the, 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 the strong uh, opinion and reaction to, to this the last time. We saw what the fans thought about it. What reaction have we had uh, already in just a, a short time since this has been announced? Well, well the most eye-catching reaction so far today has been from Spain, La Liga. Okay. Uh, we all know that the president of La Liga, Javier Tebas, is very outspoken. Uh, he's staunchly anti uh, the European Super League. He has, uh, you know, made his feelings very, very clear, even though in Spain he's up against two powerful clubs like Real Madrid and Barcelona who are pushing this. Uh, and La Liga um, released a statement this morning, quite a funny statement, that said the Super League is the wolf in the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Mm. It is disguising itself as an open and meritocratic competition but underneath, there is still the same selfish, elitist and greed-driven project. Don't let their tails fool you. Ooh. Which I think sums it up Clever. pretty well. So we've got to remember, today is about PR. This has been driven by Real Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus. Because effectively, they're jealous of the success and power of the English Premier League.